Should police have to get a warrant to search your cell phone if you abandon it or you even throw it out? A Virginia man now urging the Supreme Court to say no. Our chief legal correspondent Katie Barlow joins us live from Arlington to talk about this case. Uh, it's kind of an interesting one, Katie. Kind of break down what this case is about. Virginia resident Antonio Futrell is asking the Supreme Court to hear his story and to decide that police officers need to get a warrant in order to search a cell phone that's left behind. Back in 2018, Futrell left a restaurant in Hampton, Virginia. He left his cell phone there, and then when he turned around to go get it, eventually realizing it was gone, the restaurant closed and the security guard wouldn't let him in. Now, things escalated quickly from there. The pair exchanged gunfire. Futrell fled leaving his cell phone there where restaurant workers eventually found it and gave it over to police. Now, the phone was unlocked and an officer searched the contents without getting a warrant. Futrell filed a legal challenge, arguing that the officer should not have been allowed to look at his phone without a warrant. He argues that he has a reasonable expectation of privacy in the contents of his phone. And cell phone records, cell phones now contain a digital record of Pretty much every aspect of our lives, banking, health, location, past purchases, and this case could have wide-reaching consequences. It's a bit of a Pandora's box once you go down this road with no limits. And I think that's really an interesting way to kind of look at the issue is this case is pretty discreet and there's an issue, but the ramifications are much broader for not just the criminal justice system, but society at large. Virginia state courts did not agree with Futrell. He lost. But now he's asking the United States Supreme Court to weigh in. Several courts across the country have weighed in on similar questions, many agreeing that warrantless cell phone searches are okay if the phone is abandoned. If a person has abandoned a piece of property, um, they no longer have a reasonable expectation of privacy in that property. Um, now, where the problem arises uh, is with something like a cell phone that is not just an ordinary uh, piece of physical property on, on someone's person, um, but really uh, accesses a tremendous amount and contains a tremendous amount of information about uh, the personal life of the person to whom the cell phone belongs. The Supreme Court will decide whether to take up the case likely sometime this fall. Back to you. Katie, thank you. That brings us to our Fox 5 Instable question. Should police need a warrant to search an abandoned cell phone? A majority of you here, at least so far, almost 80% say no. Uh, we want to hear from you. You can weigh in on our Fox 5 DC app or go to fox5dc.com.